here Hi. from Girl Got Faith. Um, and today we decided we wanted to do a little video for you about baptism. Um, I guess there's quite a lot of questions around it. Um, when's the right time? Do you have to be a certain age? Do you have to do certain stuff? Like, what does it mean? So for me, I grew up in the church. Um, so I became a Christian when I was seven. Um, I went to church with my family. Um, so baptism was always something that I'd heard about. Um, so I guess it was... Yeah, kind of a question that I always had. Was it like that for you? <laughs> so I actually first, my first memory of like understanding of talking about baptism is a bit embarrassing. It's from watching EastEnders. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's really random, I know, but um, there was like a storyline ages ago where someone got baptised and that's when I first kind of like experienced like, oh, like, what is this? Like, and started asking my mum questions. There was one um, thing that I heard that that was when I was like, oh, okay, now I get it. Um, and it was that it's an outward expression of an inward change. Mm. Oh, so that's okay. what, yeah. yeah, so that's what baptism is. So it's like, it's a public declaration of your faith. So you, you can invite your friends, you can invite your family, and a lot of people do take the opportunity to do that when they get baptised. Yeah. It's almost like, you really fully identifying with Christ and because yeah. Jesus himself came and he got baptized as well by John in the river so I think it's almost like you're doing that same thing that he did and identifying with him fully in that I'm totally like for you. Mm -hmm. So how did you know when the right time was to get baptized? Um, so okay so I've actually been baptized twice. <laughs> what? Um, once wasn't enough um, and so basically the first time <laughs> The first time was, um, you don't have to get baptised twice by the way, or I'll explain I haven't why. been! <laughs> and I think I was around the age of nine, um, nine or ten, and I did it um, at my church, and then because I totally like fell away from it, and was like, like completely turned my back on God, when I, like for ten years, that was such a significant period of time, and I feel like I grew up so much as a person that then when I regave my life to Christ again I felt like I wanted to get baptised because it was almost like even though I'd been a Christian before it didn't really matter because now I was really like wow Jesus actually like saved me from all of my sin and everything that I've done and it for me it was almost like a way of saying that I'm leaving the past behind. No, I've actually never heard someone doing that and I think that's quite interesting because mm. for me I've always had like I guess I've always been of the belief that baptism is like once and for all time so like yeah. what would happen if you then went away from God again yeah and then went, like would you do it every time like as in yeah. is it is it hand in hand with salvation as in yeah no ha yeah so I think I wouldn't want to confuse it with the fact of like you can sometimes go through periods where you feel really distant from God and yeah. you feel like you've kind of fallen away a bit and come back to him but I had actually like completely turned my back mm. so it wasn't like I'm just going for a difficult transition I literally had walked out of church and I hadn't been back for 10 years it was like a, and I hadn't prayed I hadn't I wasn't reading my bible it was very very much like not anything to do with him whereas I think that if you yeah like you can go through periods of time when you feel like I really need to reconnect, I, re I need to rededicate my life to God. You don't need to get baptised every time you do that. <laughs> yeah, so because I'd been in church my whole life, um, and I'd heard about baptism, and I knew about baptism, and I gave my life to God myself, as in my own personal relationship with Jesus, when I was seven. Um, but I was still kind of waiting, I was like, ah... Yeah. Oh, like, I don't want to make this decision whilst I'm young. And by the way, just for context, we're talking about adult baptism. So we're not talking about infant baptism. Yeah. Um, which is... Christening. Christening. <laughs> I just forgot what it was called. Um, yeah, so we're talking about adult baptism. Um, so, yeah, I, I just thought, oh, I'm going to wait a bit, like... Not kind of like, maybe this was my mindset, but I was like, maybe see how my life pans out. Like, <laughs> do I really want to be in this kind of thing? Yeah. Like, do I sense. really want to declare Fully it now? It. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I don't even know what it is yet. So I think it was good that I waited a bit, but then I think when I got around the age of, like, 14, I was really, like, putting limits on myself. Like, okay, no, I'm not getting baptised yet because I'm not old enough. Yeah. And... It was kind of like, well, you kind of are. Like, 
Yeah. You are. Like, God uses children. God uses teenagers. God can use me, and God was giving me dreams and visions and um, opportunities to invite people to church. And, like, I... I, re I was confident in my faith and then but I was still kind of waiting because I thought you had to like be, a be certain age. an age and then yeah. I remember my youth leader was speaking to me once and she was um saying like, oh Emma like have you thought about getting baptized and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna pray about it when I go to this youth festival <laughs> <laughs> planned <it> out <laughs> yeah so I was like I'm gonna wait because God will speak to me about it there and then that was one thing that was like, I just wasn't getting the fact that like God speaks to you in your everyday. Like yeah. you don't have to wait for the annual youth festival where you have one week away and you're like worshiping every day and praying yeah. every day and hearing from God so clearly. I thought that was when God spoke to me. She just kind of challenged me on that a little bit. Um, so I was like, okay, cool, fair enough. So then I started like looking into baptism and trying to just learn a bit more about what it actually is. What does it mean? Why is it important? Because um, I do think with every single thing you do in life, yes, like you do things in faith, mm. but it's so important to have an understanding yeah, of definitely. what it is and why you're doing it. And because especially because people are going to ask you yeah. when you when you get baptized, like Emma said earlier, like you might invite your family and friends. And I think you have to be able to explain to people, yeah. this is why I'm doing it. Because a lot of the time, they're going to have absolutely no idea what yeah. baptism is. I felt that a lot of my, like, people that I knew in school and stuff would have that perception of me. Of like, oh, she only goes to church because her family goes to church. Or yeah. she only believes this because that's all, she's, or that's all she knows. And I wanted to kind of, like, prove people wrong a little bit. In that, like, no, I know why I'm doing this. Yeah. I have my own set of beliefs about this, about, and I can root it in scripture and I know why this is important for me personally. So for me, I then, I actually got baptised when I was 15. Um, so yeah, so and I invited all my friends from school and we had like, it was just an amazing, like I loved it so much and it was such a great witness like because so many of my friends were like, literally what is this? Why is there a mini swimming pool <laughs> in the middle of your church and why are you getting in it and why are you like going under the water? Like so many questions and it just gave me an opportunity to speak to them about it but like I was inviting them to come and they were like happy to come and they were like yeah. we really support you in this even though they like didn't really get it but it was so nice and it really did like open up conversations and yeah it was I so think nice. as well that is so important and one thing that I do um I don't like to regret things but I wish in hindsight I would have done differently is that the second time when I got baptised I didn't invite people um, because I felt like people wouldn't understand and I almost like anticipated my friend's response so I would be like actually do you know what like this is my thing that I do and like they're not going to want to come to church they're not going to want to see this and I was like I guess I was a bit scared that actually that they would come and think it was really weird and that they think I'm weird and like so I actually didn't invite people the second time round um apart from my dad and I afterwards I actually thought that that was an opportunity where I could have invited people into something that was really important to me and it wasn't fair on me to deny them that opportunity to decide for themselves whether or not they wanted to come. It's just about sharing it with people. Yeah. And I think that's so important. And when you look in the Bible, back in the day, like John the Baptist, he did it in a river. Like, it was a very, very public, open place for people to come and see. And I think that's a really key thing about it, is that it's a public decl declaration. And, yeah, you can take photos and you can put it on Instagram and everyone can see it that way. But I think actually inviting people into your space and into this, yeah. like, amazing decision that you're making is really, really important. And so, like, yeah, just don't ever be afraid about inviting people because if they really want to come and support you, then they will, but you have to give them the opportunity. Yeah. And as well, like, don't be upset if you say, oh, I'm getting baptised and you've invited some friends and they're like, no, we don't want to go. Yeah. Like, don't take it personally because actually just people are on a different journey, but just know that you've given them that opportunity yeah. and you never know like what impact that yeah, can exactly. have what was it like at your baptism did did you have to give a testimony or like well not have to but did you give a testimony yeah 
Um, so both times. <laughs> like, I just spoke about what Jesus had done in my life and why I decided to become a Christian and why I then wanted to outwardly like share that with people. Yeah, that's good. And every church does it different. Like my church, mine was similar, so we did like a little testimony thing and whatever. But there are a lot of churches that don't do that. Um, maybe like if they're quite a big church, um, it might literally not be feasible if you're having like 30 people baptized like the yeah. service would be like hours so and hours long. long um but i'm sure it's something that's probably always encouraged for people to think about what is their story so far what has brought them to this point yeah. whether they share that out loud in front of a crowd or not oh that rhymed out loud in front of a crowd I do like really encourage you that if you are thinking about getting baptized, like don't even just take our word for it. Like honestly, go and find out for yourself. Like, do speak to your leaders in your church. Like find out what does your church believe and yeah. what do you personally believe? Because it might be completely different to us and that's okay. Like we just encourage you to find out for yourself. Yeah. Um so yeah, so I guess this has been our experience and we're excited to hear about what your experience is. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Yeah, and if any of you guys are getting baptized soon or or like this has made you decide actually yeah baptism isn't so scary let's do it <laughs> then let us know because we really want to hear um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this made sense if you have any questions please pop them in the comments below and we will get back to you yeah yes Bye. see you later girl got faith is the teen girl's guide to faith beauty and lifestyle if you haven't heard of us before then check it out below and don't forget to like and subscribe Bye.